So, hello. Again, I'm Gareth. Just going to be working on... Adjust that camera just a little bit. There we go. Again, going to be working on uh, Tarval and Friends 2. Um, the Spirit of the Forest. As you can see, I haven't really gotten a whole lot much else done since last time. Just figured I'd make this a fun paint to do on stream. And, yeah, I... Uh, gonna add a second coat to this green here and then I will uh, proceed to probably work on some of the mushrooms and maybe touch up the ferns a little bit too so uh, without any further ado oh. and yeah if quick sound check say anything in chat if you can hear me or not Yeah, quick sound check. Is everything good? Hey, Grayson, what's up? Hey, muses. All right, sweet. Yeah, sorry I missed your stream, Muses. Uh, just, yeah, time zones. They're, they're no fun. <laughs> Alright, well, I appreciate it. I appreciate the views. Helps me out. Which I will probably check out your stream after I am done with mine. To see what else you got done because I assume you worked on your Tarval and Friends too. Well, it's just good to be home and be able to paint after almost 30 plus hours with no power that was fun but hey you know when you get uh, hurricane force winds in your town kind of tends to bugger a few things up thanks man muses if you're there or not I actually got one of these uh, synthetic brushes from Citadel to give it a try and yeah uh, so far it actually gets its uh, tip back pretty good it actually snaps back to a tip pretty good so far uh, doesn't seem to hold paint very well or I always I feel like I'm reloading it more than I usually do but otherwise seems to be working well enough so you know it is what it is and that's just my paint shaker off screen so I don't always have to shake it like this go ahead and use this brush since I was talking about it so people can kind of see. And I figured I would put some dark green up front here as well. 
seem to just kind of fit. And otherwise, I hope everybody had a decent enough day. Mine was pretty good. Thought I was going to be busy in the morning, but the storm from the weekend kind of changed some of the contractors' minds. So it just means I'll be busier later in the week. Excuse me. I feel like I'm washing this brush a lot more because you can actually see how the paint creeps up. Because I'll actually show. So yeah, it's there, but then the more I paint, the more it creeps up towards the. I think this end is called the flume. I could be wrong. No, I am seeing that tomorrow at a buddy's place. But of course, the internet and spoilers already already know who they're fighting. But I'll still enjoy it for what it is. And also, since I had the girls the entire weekend, didn't really give me much downtime. It was still a good weekend, but just not a lot of downtime. Yeah, see, now look, I haven't moved the paint up the brush at all, but it's still just kind of creeping its way up. So I guess it uh, makes me a little bit more paranoid, so I wash it a little bit more, which is probably good brush care anyways. It's not something I'm used to doing as much of. Okay, now let's work on some mushrooms. Just trying to think of what color to start with. Talk amongst yourselves. Rhode Island. Rhode Island is neither a road nor an island. Uh, let's see. Not for some of these. Graveyard bone or yellow? Yeah, you know what? Let's go with a color I haven't used much. I'm going to go with a base of mummy robes, which is kind of a beige. And a few of these obviously will probably be, uh, you know, red with some white spots, you know, gotta pay homage to Mario Brothers and things like that when I'm painting. I 
especially of all the movies that are coming out this year still. Still the most excited for the new Dune movie. Of course, this entire model. Uh, that's going to be later this year. And honestly, I really haven't been keeping up much as far as what else is going to be coming out and when. It's because everything just kind of seemed subject to change. So I wasn't going to get too overly hyped, I guess. This is the term I'm going to use. Like if I happen to hear about something and just go, oh hey, maybe I'd like to see that and happen to see it, then great. And if not, that's cool too. keep everything in camera while I'm painting. I'm trying to keep it over the tape mark, which is about where things need to stay. Hopefully, maybe after this stream, or after this week, hopefully make it to Affiliate. Because I think all I need are just a few extra days of painting and just a few more hours logged streaming. And I can get there and, yeah. Yeah, I'm, hope, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this is, this is the home push right now, because I have the followers, that's awesome, now I just need to step it up myself and just log some time streaming, which I, I almost cheated because I actually have my Twitch account set up on my PlayStation, and I could just stream some video games and just bloat my numbers that way but that wouldn't be entirely fair or truthful now would it uh, let's see I think these are mushrooms on his butt at least they're gonna be now If they weren't before, they are now. I kind of failed myself in looking up some other reference pictures. Looked up a few sometime last week, but just didn't do a little refresher on how a few other people had painted this just to get some ideas. And that makes for a boring stream if I start just looking at uh, pictures of how other people painted minis. And then going from there, doesn't seem too creative. So, away we go.
<sighs> Sorry. Just a little tired, too, today, but the show must go on. close to the same but it's different enough and I all know it and actually one other thing I might do while I'm on stream today depending on how far I get uh, is I'll show how... Where'd I go? This makes for great me looking off camera. Uh, may show how I made a bunch of these leaves, or at least the starting process of it. Because I used this leaf punch from Green Stuff World. And I got one that made four different leaves, so that way I didn't just have to get one that does the same. And it just punches through. And what I did was I stained a bunch of coffee filters with some contrasts or washes and let it dry and then punched it out. So at most you can see me uh, painting coffee filters, which I know, exciting, huh? Yeah, yeah, clear. Just a little bit of caffeine therapy right now. Why? Is it just the riffing or just trying to trying to come up with something on the fly? Yeah, I was asking, why don't you do stand-up comedy? <laughs> just like anything you just got to learn how to turn it on and turn it off though with some comedians I don't think they ever really do have much of an off switch which that's part of their charm
well yeah it looks easy because I've done it a lot but it is relatively easy I mean I don't know just do it <laughs> Um, a, for a lot of people, it's, it's therapy. It's very much a way just to chill, relax, kind of get out of your own head. Your, your hands are busy. Your mind is busy thinking about this. Everything else just kind of melts away for a little bit. And... Certainly in my life, and I know in the world in general, it's okay to escape for a little bit. Yeah, thank you. I got it from uh, Purple Planet, I believe. It's uh, royalty and copyright-free music for streamers to use. I know I need to pimp them a little bit more on my uh, Twitch settings. Just so that way they get some of the extra publicity and get traffic to their site. They can have donations and whatnot. Again, some of these, I don't know if they're mushrooms or fungus or just tree branches, but you know, some of these are now going to be mushrooms. And there's nothing you can do about it. I don't know, just want to be a little defiant, I guess. part of the mushroom. This one here will be one of the red mushrooms. It's going to be pretty brightly painted. Uh, yeah, anybody that's lurking besides Muses, because she said she'd be lurking, feel free to speak up, say hi, ask questions. Otherwise, it's me just kind of riffing and talking. Yeah, you always are lurking. <laughs> studying. Yeah, I remember. That's how you studied for, what was it, a round? Two rounds before your assassin would attack? <laughs> oh yeah. Hard to forget that assassin. Yep, and his uh, his call sign, his calling card was a left wooden clog too that he would always leave 
uh, on or by his victims. <laughs> well, I'm glad you stopped by, man. Good to see you here. <laughs> Thanks, bud. And maybe I'll just make this whole little patch here a patch of red Super Mario mushrooms. Yeah, maybe I'll do red and I'll do some. Maybe some purple. Because I was kind of like putting poisonous mushrooms on things that have mushrooms. Just to show that they're dangerous. If you know your mushrooms. And this almost looks like some holly and some ivy. So I might paint it up thusly. Yeah, Kiko, if you haven't seen much of the other progress yet. There we go. Let's keep it on camera here. Uh, there's how the eyes turned out. There's how a lot of the other vines. Other things. Gave him some butt mushrooms because I had no idea what these were. So I just kind of figured, well, they're, they're mushrooms now. <laughs> yep. Okay, and actually I'm going to redo some of these. Or, more appropriately, touch up the ferns. Because I think they needed another coat. Just a little bit too long. Let's see. There. I think that's a little bit better. Either that or I'm just getting shorter. Otherwise, Kiko, hope uh, hope it's been a good week and a good weekend. <laughs> hope you didn't get hit too hard by some of the storms that hit the Midwest here. Uh, myself, uh, I was without power and I lost power Friday at 12.30 at night. and Didn't get it back until Sunday at around 3 or 4. I don't know because I wasn't home and I wasn't just going to stay home since I had the girls. But we made the most of it and had an adventure, had a sleepover at my parents' house. So, it was good. We made the most of it. Went to the Lincoln Children's Museum with the girlfriend and her kids. So... Oh, well, actually, my uh, parents moved into town here, so uh, it's not as epic as the one that you saw uh, me and my brother growing up with. But yes, they would have loved that backyard.
Yeah, it is cool that they're closer. I dig it. Okay. To see what else to get next. And I always feel like there's only just so many greens that you can use before you start just bumping into each other, bumping into other greens a bit too readily. So I'm trying to think of what other greens I could use for some other leaves like this here. I suppose I could look up what color holly and ivy is. Or that too. Because yeah, rot is the part part of the forest too. Not everything is always healthy. Things have to die and rot away so other things can live. Now look at you with the good. Hey there, Skimmer. Welcome. Hope you're enjoying everything. If you have any questions, feel free to speak up and ask. I will and I'll always give you an answer. Might not be right, but I'll give you an answer. And if you like what you see, feel free to give me a follow. I'm on my quest for affiliate. Insert dramatic drum. Yeah, drum music. Yeah, God. I, you know, bomb, 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 bomb. Just touching up some more of this paint for the mushrooms. Fourth edition gets you to play D and D with minis. Uh, it was actually 3.5 kind of got me to start playing D and D with minis, and then uh, started playing because fourth ed I think I played five games of, and then I went to Pathfinder, which I know a lot of people did, and then uh, came back to D and D with fifth ed. Uh, 
So yeah, it was like Pathfinder, and that that kind of really got me into playing D and D with miniatures a lot. And then obviously, uh, 40k got me really into miniatures. But yeah, three three five kind of got me started on painting some miniatures. Uh, at least with uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, didn't play much 4th Ed. Um, played a lot of 3-5 with uh, miniatures and then Pathfinder. And then, yeah, over to 5th Ed. And played a lot of that with miniatures and um, still will once uh, I, I have a few in-person games that are going now. So um, some like to use miniatures, some don't, and it's... It's cool with me if we use them, and it's cool with me if we don't, because sometimes not having to set up an entire board for minis is cool, and other times it really adds to the gravity of the whole situation. Okay, maybe for that, let's go with A. It is way looser without... And I know we both experienced that firsthand. Even in our own personal games that we played. Alright, for, so for some of these leaves, I'm going to probably go with the good old Nurgling Green. Oh yeah, that is half the fun of it sometimes. And other times, um, kind of harkening back to when I used to play Final Fantasy Tactics, I'm sure you remember watching Greg and I play that, um, I really liked the grid combat system in that, and then seeing Dungeons and Dragons with a similar grid, I just felt immediately at home with that, because then I could use some of the tactics that I'd learned in Final Fantasy Tactics. Granted, it really wasn't completely the same, but you at least kind of knew some other basics about a few things. and grinding those early levels opens up so much. Yeah, it does. Uh, which, well, why do you think, like, a lot of times when Greg and I were running, we would start at at least, like, third or fourth level because you could just... It would just open up so much more right away when you were playing. And it would, honestly, it made it more enjoyable for me, too, because then it's just like, oh, look, you're going against another kobold, or more goblins, or more orcs, but it was always fun adding, uh, uh what's the answer, have you ever gotten painter's block, I really want to paint, but I can't really get started again, maybe I think it's fun. um, yes, painter's block is a thing, um, uh, I think you missed me kind of getting a little bit of painter's block on this, because I'm trying to figure out what to paint some certain areas, and uh, the best advice I can give Skibber is go ahead and just pick a color and go with it. If you don't like it, you can paint over it. It's a miniature. As long as you don't slap on the paint too thick, uh, you can easily paint back over it and fix it. So that's about the best advice I can give you is just just go ahead and try 
and uh, this is something that if you're trying you're moving forward and that is about the best way to try and actually if you give me a moment because yeah like I've been worried about things not working out so well and let's see there's the case I will grab something I will show you one of my first attempts and it's a sad attempt and <laughs> at doing non-metallic metal um, yeah did not turn out at all like I had hoped it would and I'll just kind of keep it as an example of hey here's me trying new things didn't turn out great but hey oh well I still have thousands of more miniatures that I could still paint and yes Kiko Knowles I actually learned in 5e Knowles can be a lot of fun but there was one thing that like that I uh, I never experienced it firsthand in fourth ed but uh, Matt Coville I don't know if you've seen any of his stuff on YouTube talked about stealing this mechanic from fourth ed for five for fifth ed and that's minions in fights they're basically just like you hit these monsters they're dead uh, they're just kind of meant to stand in the way and makes the heroes feel like a badass they can do quite a few things just to uh, kind of clear the room and then get to the big boss fight so rather than grinding through you know oh hey I got a hit on a goblin well I did minimum damage well that goblin now has one hit point you have to wait waste an entire hit just to kill one sad little goblin but skiver I hope that helped with uh, the answer there with painters block and also um, if you're painting a miniature that other people have painted before sometimes looking at how other people have painted a miniature helps you get ideas of your own you don't have to copy that one because I looked up a few for this one and got a few ideas and now I'm just running with it so that's about the best idea or yeah idea wow sorry I'm sorry that's about the best uh, advice I can give as of right now Yes, uh, I and I still suffer from painter's block slash um, analysis paralysis, or even performance anxiety, on a few miniatures that I really, 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 really want to do a good job on, and on some of them I've just had to bite the bullet and go for it and I've been incredibly pleased with how they turned out and actually surprised myself in a few cases so um, I know this sounds cheeky or cheesy but through uh, through adversity and through trials we grow and that's true for miniature painting and true for Sorry about that, but I had muted my phone. Okay, mute that quick. Sorry about hands in front of the camera. But yeah, and actually, I said I'd show you. <laughs> an embarrassing moment in Gareth's painting history or okay a learning moment not an embarrassing moment 
Oh yeah, and then here's my accidentally starfire. Ah, yes. <laughs> Here they are. Yeah, I was just farting around with some skin tones, and I started painting her, and I just went, well, I accidentally made starfire. Right there. Focus. There we go. Okay, and I was going to try and do a non-metallic metal uh, shields, and there's how they turned out. Oh, thank you for the follow, Grumpy Dwarf. Thanks for swinging by. But yeah, here is my first attempt at non-metallic metal. It looks nothing like non-metallic metal, but uh, I'm just like, they're guards. Hey, it looks kind of like a neat, weird effect. So I, you know, there, I hope that helps because I just tried something, didn't work out, and then I moved on. So what? It's, uh just miniatures and these are just town guard anyways so it's not gonna hurt anything <laughs> that is still my non-metallic metal now I have not had the courage to try it again since um, every time I keep trying my, uh, all of my skill with uh, the paintbrush just kind of goes, well, we're going on vacation for a little bit. We'll catch you later when uh, you finally give up. So, uh, yeah, it's something I need to keep trying. Uh, and, again, I'll, I'll swallow my own pill. I just need to, need to do it because I actually even got a full non-metallic metal set from Green Stuff World so I don't have any excuse other than to just try and yeah <laughs> that's about the best I can tell you right now okay and on some of these I was actually just looking while I was talking look kind of like flowers yeah and have fun while doing it thanks Grayson for saying that no, oh, well, thank you for the follow, Skiver. I appreciate it. I really do. Um, hope I'm giving good advice, and I hope that this has been fun. Uh, but yeah, just yeah, have fun while doing it. It's a learning experience. And uh, actually, here, let me show you. So, you know, you're seeing some of this now, and if you look on like my Twitter and my Facebook pages, you see a lot of my recent stuff, which looks really good, and you know. The ones I just showed, they're okay. But like here are some of my first miniatures that I painted, and they're an old Lord of the Rings set from way back in the day. And yeah, these were some of my first miniatures that I painted. I see a lot of the mistakes I made. I didn't even really get the faces. But Am I still proud of these guys? You betcha. And like, like here is even my Samwise Gamgee. Did my best to match their cloak colors from the first film, and their hair colors, and obviously they've they've chipped. I see some gaps, but I. Am still incredibly proud of these. I actually have them right up on my desk where I can look at them 
and then see how far I've come. And then, you know, I've gone and done something like this then for my cousin. I actually even got his tattoo on the arm there. And man, on camera, her lipstick really sticks out. It's not near as bad in person. Yeah, there's like part of the arm tattoo on him there. And then here's another that I've done for my uncle. So I need to get these two done still. Yeah. Really proud of these, but I'm also very proud of some of my earliest work. So it's one of those that I'll never go back and actually paint over them again. Okay. Kind of took a little bit of a deep dive and uh, a little bit of a stroll down memory lane with some of those miniatures, but I hope that was fun. Yes, that was a true labor of love. Um, for those of you who don't know, my uh, brother uh, owns a brewery uh, about two hours to the northwest from where I live. Well, for Christmas, I did a two-scale um, diorama of his brewery, hit up Hero Forge, got his uh, got a miniature for him, and a um, fantasy brew set. So, you know, it looked like a old-time tavern, not all modern stuff. So I painted that up and got, like, set pieces and stuff like that and got that all painted up for him and got that to him for Christmas. And it was, like, a super secret project. Like, a few people saw a lot of that stuff. But, yeah, I was really pleased with how that turned out. Um... I know it's easier to find on my Facebook page, which is just uh, Gareth Paints Minis on Facebook, so go ahead and take a look at that. Um, yeah, if I knew how to run some of my stream a little bit better, I would post links for it. But Okay, so um, yeah, I was going to do some red on that. So, uh, real quick, uh, okay. Do you guys want me to paint a little bit more red on some of this? Or do you want to see how I did like prep work for these leaves that will be on the base? For, uh, yeah, because this is the base this will be sitting on. It's a ruined temple from Reaper Miniatures. I'm going to have like leaves in some of the corners here. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, Grayson. But yeah, I'm uh, going to have leaves all over there, so uh, which would you rather see? Me paint a little bit more on the tree or kind of show how I start with uh, punching out leaves? Which again, it'll be me painting coffee filters, but hey, it's something. Sorry, and I need just a little bit of caffeine to keep going. Okay. Give me just a minute. Let's see if my coffee filters have been smushed flat. really but hey I'm gonna be punching them anyway punching holes in them anyways so it's not really gonna matter that much is it 
So I learned a valuable lesson though last time I did these is I will do all one one color, fold it up, and then punch through it a few times. So let's see. Good fall fall-ish mix. Let's go with using I end in yellow. Actually, one of the contrast paints. But what I'm just going to do is get this whole coffee filter, this yellow color. And this is going to be kind of messy, but it's worth it in the end. Maybe I'll just do half and half and do one half yellow, do another half another color. I know this makes for exciting stream watching. And actually maybe I'll save this for Monday of next week. So people can see how I go about making leaves for my miniatures. Yeah, just getting this whole thing yellow. And obviously I have to let it dry before I can punch through it. Because otherwise it's just going to tear the hell out of this. the other half I'm going to do a green and let them bleed into each other a little bit oh yeah it does add to a whole nother layer whole nother creative outlet actually Instead of a contrast paint, I'm just using a straight up shade, straight up wash. And yes, with washes, it's always best to shake because, as you can see, like with this, this separates. So, and this is a very uh, picky technical, but if that separates, then even this separates. So it's best to just give it a good shake, shake it like a Polaroid picture or some such nonsense. Once this whole thing dries, I will fold it up neatly and use the punch. Again, I know, super exciting. I'm painting a coffee filter. I'm sure anybody that's going by is like, hey, what the hell?
actually once I get this all painted up I'm going to probably call it a little bit of a night because I see I've gone past my hour and I'd like a little bit of kid free non-streaming downtime even though this has been fun yeah, as you can see now and I just need to let this dry and just give it a good punch with the leaf punch put over here and just let it air dry a little bit So the whole area isn't just completely stained. But yeah, um, hope that was informative. Uh, thank you everyone for swinging by. Thank you for the follows, everybody. Um, yeah, uh, and I'll be back Wednesday. I'll be painting, working more on these uh, uh, stormtroopers for Michael Mordor. As you can see, I've gotten some lining done on them thank you uh 9 30 uh central standard time central u.s time on wednesday um and i might be doing a bonus stream on wednesday maybe around uh oh probably like five o'clock or something like that might either be working on um this guy or working on the stormtroopers a little bit so but definitely at 9 30 on uh 9 30 p.m central u.s standard time on wednesday i'll be back painting some star wars legion miniatures and if i'm feeling squirrely maybe i'll do a second stream after i get off of work yep star wars thanks for swinging by delay capture hope it's been a good stream from your perspective uh, yeah but as you guys have seen I've been kind of tired most of the stream but it's been a good stream <laughs> cross the streams yes <laughs> yeah all right well at that I will bid you guys a good night, and I hope to see you all again on Wednesday. Tell your friends, and hopefully we can get a few more people here to watch me paint small men or fantasy creatures. So, have a good night, guys.